Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement heaven. Many of us work different shifts at different periods of the day and night, which means that companies that have stores or restaurants that are open late are really a benefit for people who get off second shift or people who are headed to third shift and people who need to pick up some food. In this moment of time, I am currently eating somewhat later in the day, which means my suppers get later, which isn't great for the middle of my knee, but that's the way it goes. So I go to my favorite burger joint, and I literally go to the window, like I always do, and say, I'd like a bacon cheeseburger, please. In the process of doing that, I happen to be waiting for, or in the drive through is actually some friends from another shop that I eat at pretty regularly for lunch. And it's a pretty good guy who's driving the car. And basically he offers with his pals to pay for my food. And as a kindness to me, he knows that I'm in struggle, but he's trying to help me. And I say, okay, because I know them, and I'm okay with that. So what this marvelous young people in the restaurant, unattended by their supervisor, do, is they actually totally abuse that person's purchasing power and money, almost to the point that it isn't even funny. So I'm handed through the uh, emergency door there where I normally shop through, because when they're closed like that, that's how they handle my walking world. And I'm handed a, a cup of french fries that is not really full, but it's french fries. So I start to eat it and find that they're cold, and I gently mention that to the boy as he goes back in the uh, door. They're still working on preparing my burgers, and when I see the young man, who I've dealt with several times before, I'm not really thrilled about him handling my food, do is he took some big Whopper burgers, used a beverage cup to cookie cutter it into a small burger to go on to my bacon cheeseburger. Now, I hope I didn't give away too much information on this shop because I don't want the national brand to be harmed. I really want people to understand the training value of training young people in the value of food and the importance of brand. So I'm provided then in my bag a paltry two uh, junior uh, bacon cheeseburgers that this kind guys bought for me along with the cold french fries and then because I mentioned they were cold they gave me a bunch of steaming hot nuggets which I appreciate and uh, realized was sort of to make up for the fact that they were probably at the end of the day probably at the end of the shift and they hadn't dropped any new fries yet but the reality is when I got to eat the food I found that and I'm not crazy about their nuggets but I found that the nuggets were not great I found that the burgers were basically cold and I really felt that the people who had honored me with a complimentary meal really kind of got taken for granted. What I also felt in the experience of dealing with the young boy Keith was that he was not really marvelous in customer service. He kept staring at me and I kept getting the feeling that there had been some sort of comment or whatnot but it doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is consumer rights and consumer rights happening there were three. The consumer rights of the company brand to have quality food being passed through their window or passed through their door as they do for people like me when they're trying to help people like me, which is marvelous because other restaurants aren't as kind as they can be. Second, I feel that the consumer rights of the people gifting me were abused, that that young boy did not understand the importance of providing me precisely the recipe that was requested by them for me. And the fact that they paid for it out of pocket also says that their money was being abused. In the third case, which is basically me because I'm the third party to this in a way, is that my food was completely cold. So here we had the potential of a great experience served by a good quality company and it was totally monkeyed with because the trainers of that particular establishment may not be actually doing real training. They may not actually be taking the time because of their understaffed problem, like many restaurants have today, of actually taking someone through a book or a PowerPoint talking about the safety, sanitation, and sanctity of food.